Welcome to a lesson on determining whether a function is only injective, only surjective, bijective, or neither injective nor surjective. For a quick review, a function is injective or one-to-one, -one, provided every element of the codomain is the image of at most one element from the domain, which means injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, but may have missing elements. A function is surjective or onto, provided every element of the codomain is the image of at least one element from the domain, which means surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, but may have repeated elements. Looking at the first example, the domain is a set with elements one, two, three, four, five, and the codomain is a set with elements one, two, and three. We are given the function in two-line notation, where in the first row of the matrix we have the elements from the domain or the inputs. In the second row, we have the range or outputs. Remember, the range is a set of actual outputs and the codomain is a set of possible outputs. So first notice all the elements in the codomain do appear in the range and therefore the function is surjective. Since surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, but may have repeated elements. Notice in this case, the elements of one and two from the codomain are repeated, which is allowed for a surjective function. However, the function is not injective because injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range. So again, the function is not injective because the elements of one and two from the codomain are repeated. Or more formally, the function is not injective because every element of the codomain is not an image of at most one element from the domain, and that's because of the elements of one and two. And the function is surjective because every element of the codomain is an image of at least one element from the domain. The elements of one and two are images of two elements from the domain, and the element of three from the codomain is an image of one element from the domain. The function is only surjective. With the second function, the domain is a set with elements one, two, three, and four, and the codomain is a set with elements one, two, three, four, and five. Because there are more elements in the codomain than there are in the domain, we are going to have missing elements from the codomain in the range. Notice the range is missing the element of three from the codomain, which means the function is not surjective, again, because surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range. Or more formally, the function is not surjective because every element of the codomain is not the image of at least one element from the domain. Again, because the element of three from the codomain is missing from the range. However, the function is injective because none of the elements from the codomain in the range are repeated. And again, injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, but may have missing elements. In our case, the range is missing the element of three, but it does still satisfy the requirement for an injective function. The given function is only injective. Again, every element in the codomain is the image of at most one element from the domain. The elements of one, two, five, and four from the codomain are images of exactly one element from the domain, and the element of three from the codomain is an image of zero elements from the domain, or is not an image at all. Next, we have a function where the domain is a set with elements one, two, three, and four, and the codomain is a set with elements one, two, three, four, and five. Again, because there are more elements in the codomain than there are in the domain, there's no way the function can be surjective because for a surjective function, every element of the codomain is the image of at least one element from the domain. Notice the elements of four and five from the codomain are missing from the range, and therefore the elements of four and five in the codomain are not an image of at least one element from the domain. Or again, it's not surjective because surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range. And again, we do have the missing elements of four and five from the codomain in the range. And this function is also not injective because notice how the element of two from the codomain is repeated in the range. 
and injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, or more formally, it's not injective because every element of the codomain is not an image of at most one element from the domain, again, because of the element of two from the codomain. So this function is neither injective nor surjective. And for the last example, the domain is a set with elements one, two, three, and four, and the codomain is the same. Notice all the elements in the codomain do appear in the range, and therefore the function is surjective. Again, surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, or more formally, every element of the codomain is an image of at least one element from the domain. In this case, all the elements from the codomain are images of exactly one element from the domain. And because none of the elements in the codomain are repeated in the range, the function is also injective. Again, injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range. Or more formally, the function is injective because every element of the codomain is an image of at most one element from the domain. So because this function is injective and surjective, we say the function is bijective. A function is bijective when every element of the codomain is an image of exactly one element from the domain. I hope you found this helpful.